Today I'm here at the NBA Draft and I'm about to make one of the biggest trades ever. Using Nick Smith Jr., who is our 10th overall pick, along with some other players on the roster, to go out and add LeBron James. And y'all actually thought this trade would go through in 2K? No, we're using trade override. So, we've got LeBron on the roster, the next step is re-signing Kyrie. Now that Kyrie's back, we're going to have a big three of LeBron, Luka, and Kyrie Irving. Really a big four once we signed Hamadou Diallo, but there were rumors that Kyrie Irving was recruiting LeBron James to the Dallas Mavericks, so we're making this actually happen. And the problem is, the rest of the roster is going to be, yeah, it's going to be pretty rough. But don't worry, I have a plan. Put me in the kitchen, because I'm about to cook, man. So we're around the trade deadline. We're doing okay, a couple games above 500, but we need some better role players. We have Davis Berton's massive, colossal, huge contract that we're going to trade to add Mason Plumley and Kelly Olynyk. That already improves our front court, and that's really all I could do, to be honest. There weren't really any other moves. Nobody really wanted Kemba Walker in our trades, unfortunately. We went 48-34 and 34 on the season. Luka Doncic was named the MVP of the league. Ben Simmons was the sixth man of the year, so the Benjamin comeback arc is here. Ooh, that run! I'm, I'm, I'm cooking! LeBron James is on All-NBA second team. A good season for LeBron. Almost 24 points per game. And no Kyrie Irving, but you know what? There's only one basketball, so he might have just had to take a step back. So, we're in here in the first round. KD versus Kyrie. Dallas versus Phoenix. And this Suns team, they kind of have the same problem we have. They're pretty top-heavy, but we'll see if we can take them down. They gave us a little bit of comp, but ultimately we end up getting out of there in six games. And in round two, we've got the Golden State Warriors, who were the one seed this season. They picked up Nick Richards to run the five. I feel like they really just needed Kevon Looney, but you know what? It worked for them. They were the one seed, but guess what? It didn't work well enough. We're going to sweep the one seed, and we're moving on to the conference finals against Zion and the Pelicans. They have CJ, Dyson Daniels, B.I., Jonas Valanciunas, the same roster as before, at least by the starting lineup. They've got all the same players who were on the roster before, but that's not going to be good enough. We're up 2-1 to one in the series, 3-1. to one. Is it going to be a gentleman's sweep? Yes, it is. We're moving on to the NBA Finals against the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James' former team, LeBron's hometown, the kid from Akron, going back to Akron to face the team that he brought a championship to in 2016. Coming back from a 3-1 lead, and look at Kemba, man. He's actually kind of hooping. But going into the Finals... We've got our guys playing well. We're in the NBA Finals as the four seed. We've made a really good playoff run, and now we've got to take down this tough Cavaliers team. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to them. Game three goes to them. We need this game four, and we get it. Game five is very important, and we're going to take it. So we're up three to two in the series. Only one more win, and we'll be NBA champions, despite Kyrie trying to sabotage shooting three for 16. That is a day of the year, not a, not a shooting splits, bro. That's absolutely terrible. But let's go ahead and let's see if we can win this. No, we can't. So we're headed to a game seven, and in game seven, we win by 22 points. LeBron and Kyrie team back up, win a chip, Braun with the triple-double, Luka with a ridiculous stat line, and Kyrie was getting buckets as well. We're NBA champions, and Luka is the finals MVP. Now it's time for the offseason. Even though we just won a chip, we're not satisfied. Let's go ahead and let's look at Mason Plumlee trades. We'll go get B-Ball Paul. He's younger. Then we'll look at Kelly Olynyk trades as well. I see two future first-round picks. I gotta make that move. And then I'm going to use Paul Reed in those picks in another move to go out and get Mitchell Robinson. And I also got the 30th pick in that trade. We're going to simulate to the 30th pick where a guy who was supposed to go 12th is still available, Gus Snow. So boom, we'll get Gus Snow. I know I cooked this offseason, man. And we pretty much just ran it back with the same guys outside of those moves I made. We've got the same big three. And in free agency, prior to the start of the season, I was able to pick up Josh Hart. And I know I just added Mitchell Robinson and just drafted Gus Snow, but... 
I wanted to see if there were any good trades available, and in this trade we can get two rotational players in Kelly Oubre Jr. and Mo Bamba, so I was like, yeah, we gotta do that one. Now we've got a solid rotation, it's not too deep, but you know what? That, that's how it's going to be because we've got such a top-heavy team with our big three. Around the deadline, I'm trying to make some more moves. We'll take Usman Garuba and Jay Sean Tate. Then we're looking at Mo Bamba and Kemba Walker moves. We'll take Chris Boucher and Christian Coloco. And that's pretty much all I did at the deadline. Added some more depth to our roster. That's really all we need to be prioritizing at this point. We've got the star power. Let's just try to get some better players around them. And that resulted in a 51-win season. Luka takes home yet another MVP. So good stuff by Luka. Tyrese Maxey, a really good season for him as he wins most improved. And the old man just won't give it up as he makes the All-NBA second team. Another good season for LeBron at 40 years old. He's talking about re-signing with the team like he isn't. He shouldn't be signing a deal with the retirement home, bro. What is going on? You were, you were 40. You're not even pushing 40. At this point, you're starting to push. 50 you are 40 years old old man what are you talking about an extension i'm sorry that attempt at a joke was about as bad as michael porter jr's shot attempts but we're gonna check out our season stats really good stuff from the guys i'm proud of our team man kelly Oubre jr though only a little over 40 percent from the field we might have to look at trading you later in the first round we've got the portland trail blazers and no offense dame but you, uh, dude it's not happening we're not gonna go ahead and lose to the portland trail blazers we are down 3-1. Okay, maybe we're going to lose to the... Po Bro, like, really? We, we would never lose to this team. You've got the kid from Akron. You've got Kyrie Irving. You've got Luka Doncic. You've got Kelly Oubre Jr. How are we losing to the Portland Trail Blazers, bro? Like, they're in the conference. All right, bro. All right, I think the simulation was just bugging out for this one. We're going to go ahead and run it back again because Brown doesn't want to retire. I signed him to a five-year contract in the offseason just to see how long he'd continue hooping for. And around the deadline, I talked about it before, but Kelly Oubre Jr., man, it's time. We're going to make a move involving Oubre and Usman Garuba. And I see Alperin Sangoon. That is a no-brainer. We will most definitely take Alperin Sangoon on the roster. And then we'll go ahead and add rebounding legend Andre Drummond. Okay, we've got a squad now. A solid eight-man rotation. Our ninth man, you know, and it'll work out. We'll be okay. And we are at the end of the season, 48 wins. Luka Doncic is the MVP of the league. Good stuff from Luka. Anthony Simons still backing up. Damian Lillard for the Blazers, which is kind of crazy. But let's go ahead and let's get to the playoffs. We can't afford to fumble another opportunity at a championship. LeBron James is getting way too old for us to be wasting years of his career. And we've got the Portland Trailblazers in the first round. Luke is coming off another great season. Kyrie was hooping. Bron was still hooping at the ripe old age of 41. And Alperin Sangoon, a huge pickup for us. I am so glad we were able to make the move to add him to the roster. Let's go ahead and let's get to the playoffs. Round one against Portland. This better be our revenge series. That is a sweep. Come on now, man. Let's go ahead and let's get on to the second round where we're facing the Lakers. And Nick Smith Jr., who we traded to the team earlier, is now an 86 overall. So he ended up being a solid addition for them. But will he be solid enough to take us down? No. Mavs in six. We're going to the conference finals. We've got the Houston Rockets here, who definitely have a good team. They traded us Alper and Sangoon, and it kind of makes sense why. They have DeAndre Ayton starting at the five, who's a higher overall. But let's see if we can take this team down. It's one to one in the series. We're down to one. Come on. It's tied up at two apiece. We're down three two. Come on, y'all. Game seven here. Season on the line. And we're going to lose. Oh, my goodness, man. The team blew it. Good Henderson Conference MVP. Bro, come on. We were so close to winning that series, man. That is such a rough way to lose in game seven. We were in the conference finals. We were right there, so close to making the finals. And after the finals, LeBron is going to call it a career. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.